Okay, I know we're going to play some holes or play at least one hole over at Lion's Paw. And I know so you got some favorite holes there, so let's tell our viewers a little bit about those holes. Well, Lion's Paw is the original Big Cat. Uh, it's been around for about 20 years now, certainly one of the favorite courses here in our area. My particular favorite holes would be number seven. It's a short dog leg right par four. If you hit a good tee shot down there, you're faced with an approach between two oak trees. So it reminds me of kicking a field goal in football. Uh, it gives you something to aim through as you hit to the green. I also like number 10. It's a demanding little par four. Dog leg right again, very narrow landing area, so you have to be precise with your tee shot. But if you hit the fairway, you've got an approach over a creek that winds across the fairway to a very shallow green surrounded by three deep bunkers. So tough little par four there as well. And uh, the hole that we're going to be playing today is actually my favorite hole on Lions Paul. It's the uh, par three, hole number three. And it's uh, about 180 yards from the mid tee area, all carry, completely over a pond, surrounded by oyster shells all in front of the green. Beautiful golf hole. Down the right hand side is a marsh area with some ancient oak trees, at least one of which is the home to a, a giant bald eagle that likes to swoop down on occasion and grab a fish out of the pond. So we hear about that all the time in the pro shop. You know, you won't believe what we saw on that hole out there today, but it's just something that uh, adds an extra element of uh, uniqueness to Lions Paw. Well, I know Martin and I just came off of birdies on the, the first par three that we have played, so let's head back to number three, that wonderful par three, and let Martin and I give a shot at this next par three we got coming up. Now you can get him this time. All I'm right. going to try. All right, Martin, here we are at Lions Paul number three. As Bill just described, what a gorgeous golf hole this is. It's a really challenging one to meet so early in the round, isn't it, Brian? Well, what are we faced with here this morning? Uh, we've just under 160 yards to go, so I'm going in here. I'm going to hit a little five iron here, uh, try and keep it down, and... Uh, Let's see how close we can get. All right, sounds good. We've got a little cool morning, so five iron, even though the distance is only about 160, 164, it might be the right club with the breeze and the cool weather. Put a good turn on it, pro. We'll try. Oh, good swing there. Just a little right of the pin. Be good. Be right. There you go. Nice shot. I'd be happy with that shot any day, Brian. Absolutely. Well, let's see if I can't uh, get one up there maybe just a little bit closer. I go in a little lower. Get all the way up. Be right. Oh, he hit the shells and I got lucky. All right. You got a local's bounce, Brian. All right. Let's go see if we can make a birdie. Okay, Martin, let's see. Um, I'm out. Looks like I got lucky and hit the shells and bounced up a little bit in the, the lower cut here. So uh, I'll come on up to the green. You got an interesting shot in here, Brian. I'm going to do it. Uh, looks like the, the edge of this is nice and low. I'm going to go ahead and run a putter up and see if I can't save a par or get lucky and get a birdie. Roll up there. What a lovely shot. Well played. All right, that's not too bad. I'll take that. Looks like you got the line. Get there, it's in. Be good. Oh, what a oh. great birdie. Great birdie. That was a nice one, wasn't it? I'll tell it? you what, you're really good with that short stick. Good job. Well, I I'll that take one. some of that one, man. Thank good you job. very much. All right, well, stay with us. We're heading over to Panthers Run.